<laughs> Probation officers, law enforcement, uh -huh. foster parents. Yes. Now, who is required to report child abuse or neglect? <laughs> Anyone who has reasonable cause to believe the child has suffered abuse and neglect? Yes. I would say it's very abusive to my sons to make up fake crimes. Yes. And then refuse to uh, prosecute the individual that was actually there on December 31st of 2015. It's been child abuse and neglect since my wife abducted them. Isn't that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you said, I had a motion in the court. Let me look at the collective bargaining agreements of every mandatory reporter in the United States. All the school districts. Yes. Now, there's this other thought that, well, you're just not going to let me speak to Marilyn Van Proyen. Mm -hmm. As I see it, this is abusive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Having a picture of my sister Susan Bowers. Yeah. Holding Legina, uh, the adopted daughter of Marilyn. Mm -hmm. You know, I spent a little time thinking about how much easier my life would have been if I hadn't involved Marilyn and her kids. Yes. I could have just said, well, it's my five sons and never mentioned any of this. Yeah. But since I do know that it's abusive to use the image of any person that is not the actual individual. Yes. And then to involve the children of Marilyn, too, so that Mike could exploit his adopted daughter so as to make himself look good. Mm -hmm. There is a certain amount of arrogance in doing that, isn't there? I included a photograph of Marilyn. Mm -hmm. This is Susan Bowers. Mm -hmm. Now, you just wanted to misprison all this uh, child abuse and child neglect. Mm -hmm. You wanted Mike to decide that's the way they're going. Mm -hmm. Well, I decided to involve Marilyn, and even though I've been emailing for two and a half years that this image is not her, yes, I have mentioned numerous times that I would like to speak to her. <laughs> See, there was this thought of parenting. Yes. Let's say that you did do what the law says. Because now I'm suing your unions for allowing you to violate your collective bargaining agreements. Yes. And I'll sue them for every dollar that I can get. Yes. In fact, I'll put them in prison for allowing any individual in law enforcement uh, to, to refuse to strike against the act. You may not be holding a picket sign, but it's obvious that you're striking against your employment obligations. You keep refusing to acknowledge the laws, the laws that you're bound to enforce. Yes. And instead of just giving me my sons, you decided to sit there and cover up all of this. Yeah. Because you said I was a homeless man that had no rights. I will completely remove the federal government and every employee that refuses to do what they are obligated to do. Ooh. Well, for three years, they can't go back to work where they were working at. <clears throat> for all of you that thought you were absolutely not to find your life. 